All right, so for the past roughly year and a half or so, uh, State of Anarchy has been sitting in my, hey, why don't you play this next file on Steam? You know how Steam will recommend the next game that you should play out of your own library? This game has been at the top of that list for literally a year and a half. And I've been staring at it all that time thinking, uh, yeah, I should play this. I should find out what it's like. And of course my brain has concocted many situations about what this game is actually like over that time. And so, like, yeah. I am discounting my own ability to be objective on this because I have this game built up in my brain as something different, and so that may have affected the my ability to enjoy it as much as I wanted to, or my ability to be as objective about it as I would like to be. So take that into account. Please know that, like, you know, in my brain, this has been like five different types of games over the past year and a half, at, at the very least. Um, just, I, I didn't know what it was going to be. Yes, this is one that I myself purchased, but I bought it a long, long time ago, and I didn't remember what it was going to be at all. Now, as you have no doubt noticed in the footage, it is a top-down type shooter. Uh, and, you know, comparisons to things like uh, 12 is better than 6, which I've reviewed on this channel before. Very good hand-drawn top-down shooter. Um, yeah, because this is also a hand-drawn top-down shooter. Uh, well, it, it's not really that, you know, because 12 is better than 6. There are stealth elements. There are, you know, uh, you, you really kind of have to plan and plot your way through a level. Not the same here. Um, you know, it... And, of course, the other touchstone for top-down shooters, Hotline Miami. Uh, it's not as fast-paced or as violent as Hotline Miami. And so, yeah, that comparison falls short. It's kind of its own thing. I mean, yes, it does bear a resemblance to other top-down shooters, but it's different in the sense that, number one, the bullets are slow. Like... They come at you so slow that you can get out of the way of the bullets. So, yeah, that's a significant part of the game is, like, trying to get out of the way of the bullets. Um, and then also getting the enemy in the way of your bullets. That's a big part of the thing. Um, the other part of this game that, that uh, you know, because it really has uh, two modes, which is on foot and in the car, because you can get in a car and then you can just start mowing people down in your car like you do. Um, and yeah, I, I do love the, the music changes. It's like a ska song all of a sudden. And, and uh, yeah, once you get in the car, because it's like, yes, spin donuts, kill people. Um, yeah, you, you're just constantly killing people in this game and trying to avoid being killed. Um, now, the, the point of it all is to uh, take on a succession of bank heists, which, um, it's, it's weird. I don't know who these people are that are shooting at you, uh, but they come in a variety of types. It does get very same-samey very quickly, uh, because you have your basic shooty-shooty types, you have your guys that are going to run at you with a bomb, uh, and those guys can do a lot of damage. You've got to keep an eye out for them, and you've got to take them down before they get to you. Uh, but you can always tell because they're the only things in the game that really move at that speed. Well, aside from other cars, which are surprisingly easy to take down. Um, even on foot. And, uh... Then the other thing is the, the heavies. There would be a guy with a, you know, heavy type weapon, which will upgrade to, you know, projectiles of a different type every time you upgrade your weapon 
what the heavies are carrying will also change, uh, making the game slightly harder each time that you uh, get slightly better at causing havoc and uh, making a lot of damage on the enemies. So, yeah, that's, that's the basic idea. There's a few enemy types that you need to worry about. And then, aside from that, there's a big red arrow that tells you where to go. And where does it tell you to go? Well, there's banks. There's banks on opposite ends of the town. And wherever you die, you'll spawn at one bank location, and then you have to make your way all the way to the other bank location, which is on the other end of town. And once you make your way inside, then it is your job to uh, carry out a heist. Except for it's not a regular bank heist because, you know, the money that you take is dropped by the guys that you are shooting, which is the same way that you get money when you're not inside the bank. And also, there doesn't seem to be a way to spend that money uh, because all of the upgrades are, you know, things that you get for leveling up, which you level up based on, you know, how many enemies you kill and whatnot. And so that has no bearing whatsoever on uh, the money that you take from the bank. So whatever money you take from the bank was dropped by guys who were already in there shooting. And so the question is like, wait, there are guys already in the bank shooting? Are they robbing the bank? No, you're robbing the bank, allegedly. Allegedly, that's what is happening. Um, everything is anarchy, so it's like a purge type situation, I guess. Now, very similar to any other time that you've been in the bank, there are guys with guns everywhere. You gotta shoot them, and it's the same enemy types that you're gonna face down on the outside world. And except for one guy, there is one guy standing on top of a like raised platform of sorts you know like a bank you've been in a bank uh and the, that one guy has a better weapon than you and you have to circle strafe around and shoot at him while also fighting off the hordes of baddies that are going to be coming at you from all sides and if you should kill that dude all the other guys will explode for a second and then you will get the opportunity to take his gun which will give you a better gun and then you'll get one upgrade uh which at the end uh, like anytime you level up you can upgrade your health your speed your regeneration or your damage those are the things that you can upgrade but those upgrades don't make as big of a difference as you'd think. Like the health regeneration, you regenerate like 16 points of health per minute out of like a hundred. It's, it's not as helpful. Like I kept uh, upping it, hoping that it eventually would get to a point where I would notice that my health was regenerating. It did not. So I should have chosen damage the whole time because even though it still would have been mostly imperceptible, it, at least it would have gone towards something that I was actively doing. So, yeah. Uh, also, yeah, there's only two types of pickups, money and health pickups, which drop very occasionally and randomly. And so you really do have to keep an eye out for those because if you're waiting for your health to trickle, uh, yeah, you cannot stand still in this game. And so you can't just go hide in a corner and be like, well, I'm just going to regenerate my health for a minute. Nope, it's not going to work that way. It's not going to let you do it. So you have to keep moving and you have to keep shooting. Now, there are a lot of things that annoy me about this game, but... The main thing is that I, I kept playing it, and that's the thing that possibly annoys me more than anything, is that in spite of everything about it that seems like it would make the game not work at all, 
You know, how slowly your character moves, how slowly the enemies move, how slowly the bullets move, um, you know, how wildly uncontrollable the car is, because it is. You could drive backwards just as well as you could drive forwards, and um, it's easier to spin donuts than it is to actually control the car. So, yeah, the, there are problems with the gameplay. And, and indeed problems with the game itself. And yet, it continues to be fun, you know. And, and I've looked at some of the negative reviews just because I was like, well, are people turned off by the very same things that drive me crazy? Because most of the reviews for this game are positive. And so I was looking for the negative ones just to see like, Okay, are you guys seeing what I'm seeing? And indeed, yes, actually, that is true. Everyone who wrote a negative review was like, yeah, this game is super repetitive. And uh, yeah, it just, there's, there's not a lot going on, honestly. There's not. Um, and yet, it's surprisingly fun. Surprisingly so. Uh, because I got way more footage for this game than I intended to get. Like, I... I did not mean to get, like, by a, a measure of, like, twice as much. I got twice as much footage as I needed for this review. Just because I kept playing because it was fun. Now, granted, when I was playing for this review, I stopped being able, for whatever reason, to take out the main guy in the bank, I kept dying on that part, so anytime I made it into a bank, and then I started dying on my way to the bank constantly, and so that was no problem, but like, I, yeah, I, I kept dying a lot once I was actually recording the footage, um, before I was recording the footage, I was doing pretty darn well. Uh, and then as soon as I hit the record button, I just died a whole bunch. Uh, and sorry, sorry that that is the case. That you just get to see me dying again and again and again. But, um, even so, like, it, there's still something about this game that is inherently fun in spite of the fact that it is too same samey it is too slow it is like you know not enough game for how much you think there should be and by the way the developer of this game has made a lot of terrible games uh, because all of the other ones you can buy them in packs and it's just massive amounts of it and some of these games I have seen around Steam, and, I, and some of them I purchased in like budget extravaganza videos and whatnot. They are terrible, like really not great. Um, and yeah, a lot of these games uh, that the developer has, they just seem like you know student games that uh, you know somebody barely finished or didn't quite finish uh some of them look like rpg maker games which like oh your rpg maker game better be really good if you're gonna sell it on steam because that kind of stuff bothers me and it's just a lot of like just terrible shovelware and yet this is the gem you know there is a second game for State of Anarchy, and I'm going to need to take a look at that one too. It's called Master of Mayhem. Um, I don't know if it's any different. It looks exactly the same. Like, almost, you know, exactly 100% the same. So I wonder if there's a lot different going on in that second game. But yeah, this one is bafflingly enjoyable. <laughs> It's enjoyable in spite of itself, which is like, all right, dude, okay, I see you, State of Anarchy, I see what you're doing. Anyway, I'm going to quit rambling, and we're going to put a final score on it, then we're going to be done.
Okay, so we are going a seven and a half out of a possible 10, Emma's Goldman. Why Emma's Goldman? Uh, well, if you know, you know. If you don't, you have Google. Uh, anyway, and, and also like seven and a half because I can't go any lower and I can't go any higher for this game. That is the floor and the ceiling. That is exactly where this game is. It is like barely on the recommend threshold, but not any higher, but not not recommended. Like you'll see me recommend this game, like in the next, you know, Steam sale, I'm sure this thing will be on sale. It's on sale right now, as a matter of fact. Uh, and you will see me recommend it, uh, but also know that it's, it's not perfect. It's not perfect at all, but it is quite fun. It is quite good. And so, I mean, well, quite good. It's, it's enjoyable in spite of itself. I don't know. Anyway, uh, you can pick it up on the cheap and that's the best way to pick it up. And then when you play it, you'll be like, why am I enjoying this? And yeah, you'll just be one of many who are like, why? But why though? Why is this fun? Because it is. Anyway, people, that's going to do it for this one. I will see you in the next one. Okay, bye.